Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So today I am bringing you my soft, sexy summer body care routine. We've got skincare products, we've got body products, we've got hygiene products, we've got everything you need to be a glowing goddess this summer, which is what we all want. These are all my absolute favourite products for summertime that keep my skin looking and feeling and smelling absolutely incredible. So I am just going to get straight into this. As always, I will link all of the products down below so you can find them really easily. I'm going to try and do this in the order that I use the product. So we're going to start off with something a little bit boring but very necessary, it is basic hygiene. You guys know my shower care routine so I won't go into too much depth with this but you know I love the Sanex shower gel. It's got no harmful ingredients, it's very very gentle, you can use it all over your body, on your delicate parts, everything. I absolutely love this stuff. If you specifically want a feminine wash, I would recommend the Luna the Everywhere wash. So this is specifically formulated for your lady parts. It's got absolutely no harsh chemicals, nothing like that. It's actually, it's got prebiotic thermal water and omega-3 and 6. Keeps down there soft, clean, everything you need, but you can also use this all over the rest of your body as well. I am a bit funny about feminine washes. I feel like a lot of them can do more harm than good, to be honest with you. This is a great one. Obviously fragrance free and all of the rest of it. Great brand and it just, yeah, maintains a healthy pH microbiome, only natural and necessary ingredients. It's vegan, developed with gynecologists and dermatologists, 0% soap, pH, it's what we want. And you guys know my love for Dr. Bronner's. You know where I use this. Do not, I repeat, do not use this on your delicate parts. It will cause all sorts of trouble. It's very strongly scented. And this just sort of strips your skin in like the best way possible. If you want to be squeaky clean, use this. I only ever use this on my pits and my butt to be honest. And it just smells so good. My favourite one is the almond one. To this day, I get so many of you messaging me saying that you've bought the almond one and that you've used it on your bum and your bum now smells like marzipan. And do you know what? I see you. I see you with your great smelling bum and I'm here for it. Honestly, this stuff is amazing. Let's move on to some body care. We all want a soft, sexy, glowing summer body. It is the dream and I am here to tell you how I achieve and maintain it. Firstly, of course, you're going to want to use a body scrub. I have been loving the Bombdia body scrub from Sol de Janeiro. Smells absolutely incredible. It's a bit um, like softer than the Bum Bum one, which I also really, really love. I use that one if I want a proper exfoliation session. This one is a bit more gentle, so great if you've got sensitive skin and it smells like the Bombdia Bright Cream, which is just, oh, it's a dream. Now, moving on to something that I think is such an essential step in keeping your skin lovely and soft and hydrated, especially just after you've exfoliated. I also do love my First Aid Beauty um, KP body scrub. I've just run out of that, so I'm using this at the moment. That one's great as well, especially if you've got sensitive skin. But the product that I think makes such a difference to my skin is this. Now, it doesn't have to be this brand that you're using, but it's just this step. So this is a hyaluronic acid from Oskia that you can put anywhere. It's formulated for your face, but you can use it all over your body, hence the absolutely enormous size. When my skin is still a little bit damp, I pop this all over my body. And when I tell you my skin just feels so soft, it locks in moisture and it draws in moisture as well. It's an incredible product. I would highly recommend it. Use this before moisturising and you will be set. And you're going to want to follow that up with an impeccable body cream. You guys know I love my body creams. I love my scented body creams, but I always have like an unscented body cream or a very, very subdued smelling body cream in my collection at any given time because sometimes, like not all scented body creams go with all perfumes. Sometimes when I'm wearing a specific perfume, I want to wear 
a body cream that is not going to interfere with that scent. Also, sometimes just before bed and when it's hot, it's nice to just sometimes wear something that doesn't have a strong scent. So for that, I would recommend the Fenty Skin Butter Drop, what is this called? The Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. When I tell you this is the perfect consistency, it is so hydrating because it's got that oil but like I said it's a whipped texture so it absorbs into your skin so easily it is not going to sit on top of your skin and it has the most delicate scent truly it's so so delicate it's almost like a very 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 soft floral just fresh clean smell it's not going to interfere with any fragrances you might be wearing and it keeps your skin so hydrated so soft looking incredible i love this stuff don't worry i'm not gonna leave you hanging i am gonna give you a scented body cream option of course i am you know i love fragrance layering and as my base layer i love using a scented body cream and one that i've been absolutely loving at the moment is the rio radiance cream from Sol de Janeiro. You guys know I love Sol de Janeiro. They are the quintessential smell of summer. They create the best body creams for summer. We all know this. This is their newest one and it smells so incredible. Guys, I'm not gonna actually take this off because it's gonna go everywhere, isn't it? Oh, just, mm, it smells like tuberose, like tropical flowers. If you don't know what tuberose smells like, it's like a tropical flower and it smells like coconut milk. It's got this real sort of milky feel to it, but then it's got this almost tutti fruity sort of vibe going on as well. Very summery, very gorgeous. And I've been layering the body spray over the top. This smells, it smells exactly like the body cream, but maybe like a little bit more coconutty. They layer amazingly together, obviously, and any sort of coconutty scent or even fruity scents tend to work with this. I've actually done a TikTok of perfumes that layer amazingly with these, so if you want to know which perfumes I've been layering with these, go and check out my TikTok. And of course, a body oil is essential, either when you just want a lot of hydration or when you just want your skin to glow. I have been loving the Sol de Janeiro. I swear not all of the products in this video are Sol de Janeiro. I actually think this is the last one. Um, but this is the Bum Bum Body, or the Boom Boom Body Fermenza Oil. This smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. It is incredible, it is so hydrating, but it does sink into your skin really nicely. It doesn't just sit as an oil on top of your skin because I really don't like that. I don't like to be too sticky. This is not like that, but it does leave a gorgeous glow on your skin. I actually love, like when I'm really being extra, I love putting the Boom Boom Cream on and then putting this over the top because one, it makes your skin look so soft, so plump, so juicy, so hydrated but it also just it enhances the scent and oh it just smells like summer it is so good also if you're not like a glowy body oil kind of girl sometimes I just can't be bothered with a glowy like a bronzy body oil I don't know for all I'm showing you all of these products these to me are basics for me I'm not extra enough to wear a glowy body oil unless I'm literally doing a photo shoot on a beach like otherwise I can't be bothered um so a little hack is if you want that sort of effect but you can't be bothered to be like slathering yourself in bronze body oil then you can literally just pop a bit of this on and then put a bit of your highlighter on your shoulders and this will just accentuate it and it'll cling to the oil and yeah perfect but love this stuff okay i have two tanning products which i am obsessed with i use this when i want to fully tan this is the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse i use this or the bondi sands i've used this for the longest time though i love it i just use dark um I only ever use ultra dark when I'm really pale and even then I don't feel like the tone suits me properly. I just don't feel like it looks that natural on me. This works perfectly on my skin tone. I already have like a bit of a tan so the dark is fine for me and this is just, I've talked about this a million times but it is just the best um, fake tan ever. I love it. For a gradual tan you need to try the Gatineau 
Golden Glow Gradual Tan. I use this in between tanning sessions just to keep me nice and bronze but you don't have to fake tan before using this you can just use it for a more subtle tan this is incredible it builds really nicely on your skin it fades really nicely as well it doesn't go patchy it gives you a really natural bronzed glow i absolutely love this it's super easy to use um, it doesn't like stick to your hands or anything like that, would highly recommend this. Okay, SPF girlies, it's essential. We need to be looking young when we're 60, 70, 80 years old. We do not want sun damage, we do not want wrinkles. We are using all of the SPF, we're using all of it. SPF 50 at that. So for my body, I love the Bondi Sands SPF 50. This is fragrance free, it's water resistant, so I love that it's fragrance free because it doesn't interfere with any fragrance that I have on, but also I can wear it on top of my body moisturiser if I'm wearing a scented body moisturiser. This is not sticky on your skin whatsoever and that is what I love about this. It just sinks into your skin and you're done. It's incredible. I also love the Aven O Thermal Intense Protect SPF 50 for bebés, enfants and adults. <laughs> this is fragrance free as well and this is for face and body. Again, very gentle and I love Aven's products, they're amazing. And one that I've recently started using is the new Ulla Henriksen SPF 30 Banana Bright Mineral Sunscreen. I've only just started using this this week. So far I'm getting on really well with it. I really, really struggle with SPF on my face. It breaks me out like nothing else. Even ones that say that they're non-comedogenic tend to break me out. I really struggle with it. Um, so if you have any suggestions or you have the same issue, please let me know. I've tried the La Roche Posay one as well, which um, I can use for a little while, but if I use it for like longer than a couple of weeks, it starts breaking me out. Like, I don't know why. Um, but so far, so good with this one. I have only used it a couple of times though, but I'll let you know how I get on with this. If you have any suggestions though, please let me know. Honestly, I hate being a spotty girl in summer. It's so upsetting, especially when my skin is perfect all winter. It's just not the vibe. Um, deodorant. We need deodorant. You know this. I don't need to tell you this. I started a little natural deodorant journey last, last winter. It was last autumn. I've been using natural deodorant exclusively for the past eight months and I've been getting on really well with it. I found ones that actually work for me because, oh my God, it was, when I say it was a journey, it was a journey. Like the whole armpit detox is an actual thing. I thought people were lying about that. No, it's a thing. Um, and also it took me so long to find a natural deodorant that actually works. But these are the ones that I found that work. This, I mean, it's literally like a little nub now. It's just a little salt rock. So many of you recommended these when I asked for suggestions. And <laughs> I'm so grateful because they're great. I really need another one. It's literally broken. Um, these are great. I just got this one off Amazon. I'll link it below. I also love the Rio Dio from Sol de Janeiro. Smells like the, which is it? The Cherosa... I don't remember. It's the Bomb Dia Bright Cream that it smells like. And also one that I really like is this. How bougie is the packaging? This is the Act The Deodorant Balm and these come in different scents. This is the Cedar, Eucalyptus and Bitter Orange. Each one is a different colour as well. I just love the aesthetic. And obviously it's like a roll tube so you get this little key. You can get the key and just roll it down. This smells quite intense and this one smells quite herbal so definitely like check out the scents before getting these um but as well this doesn't stop you from sweating it literally just kind of gives you a nice scent underneath your armpits i will say today is the first day in eight months that i have gone back to using my normal deodorant <laughs> because honestly I love my natural deodorant, but in the hot, hot, hot weather, I just don't want to sweat. Sometimes I just don't want to sweat. Like these will 
not stop you from sweating, they'll just stop you from smelling. Um, whereas sometimes I just don't wanna be a sweaty girl, do you know what I mean? So I've gone back to using my Mitchum. This is literally so done. It's literally been sitting in my bathroom for like months and months, but the Mitchum Powder Fresh Roll-On, this is nuclear. You will never sweat when you use this. It is the best deodorant and you know what, height of summer, I'm sorry, I need it. Let's get on to some skincare. Skincare is so important at any time, obviously, but during the summer, you need a proper skincare routine, especially if you wear makeup. You wanna be getting all of that makeup off your face at the end of the day, and for that, I love using an oil cleanser. I've been using the MAC Hyper Real Fresh Canvas Cleansing Oil, and I really love this stuff because it just removes every trace of makeup, but it does not leave any oil residue on my skin, which can cause breakouts for me, so I don't like that, but I do like an oil cleanser. This is perfect. If you are prone to spots or if you have sensitive skin or anything, I absolutely love this. Also, to keep my skin nice and smooth, I love a bit of a chemical exfoliant. One that I find really gentle but very, very effective is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant with Salicylic Acid. When I tell you this is a wonder product and it's one of those products that I absolutely would not be without in my skincare routine. This says use AM and PM, but um, to be honest, I use this every three or four days, but I do use a stronger chemical exfoliant peel like once a week, which is why. Um, but I absolutely love this. It's a toner, you put it on at night. I will follow it up with a salicylic acid serum and usually a facial oil. Leave it overnight, the next day my skin is just so smooth and I think using this consistently helps my skin to stay clear it's just, it's such a great product. It really helps to exfoliate your skin without being harsh at all. It helps to keep spots at bay and it's just great. It helps your skin glow. Definitely use your SPF after using chemical exfoliants on your face though because it just leaves your skin all like baby fresh and you need to be protecting it. Some serums that help to keep my skin so glowy. I love the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Obviously, these went viral on TikTok, and for good reason, they are incredible. Niacinamide is obviously amazing for your skin. It does help to keep your skin clear as well. It helps to refine the texture, but there is something about this. It just makes, you know when you've just done your skincare routine and your skin looks juicy, that is what this makes your skin look like. So sometimes, I use this as part of my skincare routine, but sometimes I do just pop it on the high points of my face, like over my moisturizer, because it adds such a gorgeous glow. I add this in with my foundation. I like mix it in before putting it on, and it gives my skin this gorgeous, healthy, radiant glow. This is a wonder product. I love it so much. I also love the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. This is so hydrating, it feels incredible on your skin, and I love being extra and just pumping a bit on my neck and my chest and my boobs um, before putting on my body moisturizer. If you didn't want to go all out and use the hyaluronic acid all over your body, you could just use this on like neck to boobs and face, but it's such a great one. A face moisturizer that I absolutely love because it's got SPF in and because it doesn't break me out and because it's just all round incredible is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. I use the normal Magic Cream like most of the year but in the summer I love the light version. It's just, it's not as thick and it still works amazingly underneath makeup or if you're not wearing makeup, it's just a great cream and it makes your skin look so, so healthy. If there's something you need to know about me is that I love a facial oil. I put it on my face, neck, chest, and boobs before bed. And the one that I've been absolutely loving is the Gatineau Defy Lift Firming Facial Oil. This hydrates my skin so well, but again, it sinks in really quickly. It doesn't sort of sit on your skin 
This makes my skin feel so baby soft and obviously I'm not getting any younger. I want to keep those wrinkles at bay. So this is doing an amazing job. It really makes my skin feel so supple. I love it so much and it really gives me a healthy glow as well. Like I said, I use this on my neck, chest and boobs. And like, you know when you just do this, my skin feels baby soft when I use this. It's incredible. Sometimes I put this on the backs of my hands before I go to bed, mix it in with my um, hand moisturiser, literally just one drop and my hands just feel so baby soft in the morning. It's incredible. And a summer staple for me is just having a face spray in the fridge at any given point so that you can just go and spritz and it's nice and cooling. I've only just started using this one. This is the Fairs facial mist with witch hazel, it's the aloe vera formula, cucumber scented, it's not really heavily scented though. It's very, very lightly fragranced and it is alcohol free. I really, really like this. It just feels really nice. Obviously that witch hazel in it is slightly astringent so it feels like it's tightening your pores without sort of feeling drying at all. It just feels very refreshing and I love this, especially like I said, when it's been in the fridge. And those are the products that I use to keep me soft, glowing, bikini ready, all summer long. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have any skincare, body care, hygiene recommendations that you wanna share with me, please let me know down below. Like I said, I will link these products in the description box for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a cheeky little thumbs up as always if you did, and hopefully I will catch you in my next one, guys. Bye.